Today we shall reflect on the theme called to be responsible. And we see that all of us in life have some responsibilities or the others. Sometimes we may have big responsibilities, sometimes small, but nonetheless they are responsibilities. And we also see that with great positions and with greater posts come greater responsibilities. Being responsible then involves a sense of determination, a sense of giving oneself for whatever we are called to do. Today's readings in a very special way emphasize on the issue of being responsible. We are called to be responsible and face all the challenges in life following the footsteps of the risen Lord. A glance at today's first reading reveals to us how St. Paul faced imprisonment when he went to do the will of God. Now he was an ardent follower of the risen Lord and even though he faced many challenges, he faced persecutions, still he continued to do the will of God. In a way, all of us have received a mission from the risen Lord through baptism and this mission is to bear witness to the gospel in our own ways just as St. Paul did. Now we see that Paul was a responsible Christian who went far and wide in order to proclaim the good news of Jesus. He also proclaimed it willingly to all those whom he encountered. And thus, we are also called in our own ways, through our words, through our actions, in order to show Christ to others, those whom we encounter, to be another Christ in our own lives. Today's Gospel tells us that Jesus asked Peter the same question three times. And Jesus asks you and me the same question as well. Do you love me? Now one may wonder, how can the love of Jesus be so attractive and so costly at the same time? Well, we see, Jesus spoke about the love of God to his disciples many times during his ministry. And all of us know the qualities of the love of God. It is unconditional, it's beyond measure, and there are so many other things which are beyond description. And we see that God is always willing to accept us. God loves us no matter what we do. But sometimes it is we ourselves, through our sinfulness and through our disobedience, that we turn away from the love of God. We reject this love of God. And therefore we see the Lord gives all for the good of others. Jesus shows us that love is a personal choice and it is a gift that is freely given. It is giving of oneself to another person for their sake. Unselfish love is thus oriented wholly to the good of the other person for their own benefit. In a way we see God gave an example. He gave his only son who died for our sins. Jesus accepted the death. He accepted to die on the cross so that all of us may have eternal life. And in this way we see that the love of God transforms our hearts. It heals us and it transforms our lives and frees us from the fear, from selfishness and from greed. It draws us to the very heart of God and it compels us to give Him the best that we have and to give Him all that we possess, all our gifts and resources. As we read today's Gospel, we may stumble on another sentence. Jesus asked Peter, Do you love me more than these? What are these that Jesus refers to? Probably it refers to the attachments in the life of Peter. We all know Peter was a fisherman. So probably he would have been attached to his boat, to his fishing occupation, and maybe to his friends. And Jesus asks him, Do you love me more than these? And similarly, when Jesus asks us, he asks us the same thing. Are we ready to put our attachments, to put our other relations behind and follow Jesus? Probably we see that when Jesus asks Peter the question, that to three times in front of the others, 
it may have caused Peter great pain because normally we see that when we are not sure of something we tend to clarify over and over again and here we see that Peter must have felt remorse and grief because Peter we see had denied Jesus three times and here Jesus asks him three times do you love me but this time there is a difference in the answer of Peter earlier Peter had said Lord even all these may fall away but I still will be with you Peter was boastful at that time but today we see he says Lord you know everything you know that I love you and this is the humility that Jesus calls us to when we are united with Jesus when we are in relationship with him Jesus invites us in order to give our best for the good of others and then automatically Jesus will give us the grace in order to be satisfied in our own lives probably today as we reflect on these readings we can ask ourselves this question do you allow the love of Jesus to transform your life and today let us pray specially for the grace that we may be responsible and above all that we may be able to express the love that we have received from Jesus to those whom we encounter amen